And we're back with some more RimWorld. And today we're still recovering from the last episode. The last episode being the one that resulted in the A-team getting the absolute snot beaten out of them when uh, a doomsday misfired. Today, though, we're getting another caravan ambush pretty much immediately. Oh, we got a volcanic winter as well. That's going to mess with crop growth. But thankfully, we don't have any crops to care about. Uh, we're getting another caravan ambush this time on sugars. Uh, you know what? Let's just go have a look. Are they actually demanding anything? No, and it's the Tomahawk men. Oh, my. Mm. Yeah, we have six. Where's our team? Oh, yeah, this is... You know what? This isn't... Oh, actually, this is pretty bad. There's only three of them here. I thought this was just attacking one of our other teams. Never mind. Uh, this is one of our teams for collecting uh, minerals, like Plasteel, Jade, that kind of stuff. Yeah, they're, they're loaded down with Plasteel. They don't have any Doomsdays or anything, so they're just going to have to straight-up face tank whatever's been thrown at them. Uh, these guys have... Uh, that's actually a pretty decent assortment of weapons. I don't want that shotgunner getting too close, and that mm, that bolt action is going to be an annoyance. Shooting skills. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. What the hell? Right, that's the worst shooter at two. Then the next one in comes in at six. Then it's eight and above for the rest. Oh, seven and above for the rest. Okay, that's... Mm. Let me think for a minute. Okay, I'm going to send our people straight away over there into cover. That's the closest cover we got. We do not want to be out in the water when this kicks off. Uh, hopefully we can get there before they close the distances. No, what? what do go that way. Go that way first, I think. Oh, God, this is way too slow. I'm not sure we're going to be able to make it to cover in time. Is Sugar dealing with some sort of injury? Come on. Oh, I stopped moving those two. That was a mistake. You go there and there, and you will go there. Sugar, you're going to want to hurry up. You're a long-range fire support here. Uh, this is going to get messy really quickly. Okay, that person's been injured. Yep, you know what? Let's immediately focus fire on that person. I don't want them getting into cover. Right, perfect. Who else is not in cover? That one over there, though they will be in cover shortly. Hmm... What's their weapon speed, weapons ability? Six. Oh, this is all bad. This is Oh, great. The one person we killed was the one with the crappy shooting skill. My bad. Uh, you will go over... You know what? Go right there. Mm. Yeah, I really want to take that one. It does have higher DPS, though. Crappy accuracy. Snail's not doing too good. Wow, you guys suck at shooting anything. Uh, sugar. We'll have you target that one, right there. Oh, you kidding me? Ah, snail's dead? What got them? Their heart got destroyed? Oh, bolt action rifle. Oh, I should have kept focusing down that bolt action. It's the only thing that's going to have a good chance against the armor, isn't it? Okay. This is not going well. Wait, caravan battle one. Never mind. Uh, yeah, that is just a... Damn it. Wait a minute, we do have resurrection serums, but I'm not going to wait. Uh, I don't want to say waste. I don't want to use them on snail if at all possible. Okay, you know what? I am going to stay here and kill as many of them as I can. Oh, sugar had food poisoning. That's why they were so slow. Mm, okay, I'm going to go clean this mess up. Well, that is kind of annoying. Also, the caravan is two days away, which means by the time we get here, snail will probably not be in the ripest of conditions. Um... Actually, it's cold outside, is it not? Maybe they're... You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. We have too many colonists as it is. And we have 16 on caravan missions and another three over here on a caravan mission. Um, they're on a trading quest at the moment. Where is it? We sent them over down here. Their job is to trade with this section, though I sent them a little bit too early. There's a new thing you can check out here. You can see next restock. This is... Since I was last there, they haven't actually restocked on resources, so I'm going to have to wait 0.6 of a day before I can continue my trading. And down here... The A-team are just about to encounter this tribe, who... Yeah, we're actually friendly with this tribe. Yeah, we'll see what they have to trade, but then we're probably going to try and kill them. Well, okay, we'll trade with both the tribal sections, and then we'll probably try and kill them. Well, things have, have not gone well. The A-team have been ambushed. Yes, the team that currently have most of their plebeians down are, are getting ambushed again. This is just... Wow, they're having a bad week. They're having a really, really bad week. Um... What do we got here? Mostly bows, I think. Oh, man, this is just... The amount of ambushes in such a short space of time. Randy is really unhappy with me. Mm, we don't have a lot of cover here, do we? And I don't really want to be dragging corpses about, or people about... Mm, I think we'll put our charge rifles here. We'll put our miniguns over here. 
what there are of them. Maybe I should use some zappers. It might be an idea considering yeah, we could lose the entire caravan here if we're not careful. Let me get a plan together. All right, uh, not really much I can do here. I'm limited in the amount of pawns I have and what they can achieve. So we're going to get GMC over here. Uh, yeah, three of our people are just literally on the ground. I'm, I'm not sure there's anything we can do about that. Also, one of our animals. I switched as many people over to miniguns as I could because they've got range in the DPS. We're unfortunately fighting in the rain also, which not helpful. Uh, you... You might want to move to somewhere uh, better shielded. Oh, crap. You better go up here. Uh, this is not good. I should probably target the largest chunks with the minigun. You, you, and you. I want all of you to target that person. That should hopefully at least cause us some splash. Ah, there we go. So long as we kill enough of them that they break, we won't have to worry anymore. Oh well, uh, yeah, I think we got a lot of them. Time to get out of here, because I'm leaving a perfectly good charge rifle on the ground. That's, uh, yeah, that's not good. Well, they survived that, which was lucky. Um, if that was any more dangerous, that could have been quite a problem. Ooh, camera, are you worth keeping? You know, no, no, we don't want anyone else. No one else is we're just going to take our stuff and get out of here. Now, well, a few things have gone on in the background. Our caravan arrived back, Sugar's caravan. Where is the corpse? We had a corpse about here that, of someone who died, Snail. Where did you put... Why? Why did you drop Snail there? On the bright side, they're frozen and they won't spoil, but I'm going to maybe put them into storage. We might think about reviving them. Well, we'll see what the comments say. How many resurrection serums do we have, though? That's the thing. We've got three resurrection serums left. Mm, and there's a bit of time left to go, and we could lose some of our more valuable members, though. I kind of didn't want to bring Snail back. They, they were a solid member. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave it up to the comments. Uh, yes, we'll, uh, we'll make a little zone for them, and then we have to get on with a caravan. All right, down here in the bottom right of the world map, uh, where is it? We are here. We're that blue one up in the top left. So all the way down here, we have our A-team. And the A-team have just stopped to trade with this place, and uh, we've traded with that one as well, and we didn't actually kill anyone, which is really rare. Really rare, I know. However, we have a... Hmm, some decisions to make. Uh, let's see. We can't... Well, we don't have any Doomsday Rockets, so I don't really want to get involved in taking on a pirate base without having a Doomsday Rocket for backup, otherwise it would kill us. But we do need some money so we can afford some and maybe buy one in one of these towns before we wipe this out. Once we have this pirate base gone, that's all of them in this part of the world. We just have to wipe out these ones which are much more central and much easier to get to. Uh, if we wanted to, we could just put together a, a quick hopscotch of jump jump pods or uh, yeah, transport pods and get and support that if we need to be. This one is just the furthest away one that's the most annoying, but I think we're going to have to involve an element of risk. The reason being, our people are all injured and we need money. This is the closest tribe. Well, you know what? We could maybe hold out for this tribal village. We will go visit this one, go into this tribal village, and then afterwards we'll kill them all and take their stuff. And when we do, we can come down here and trade it all away at the community's plateau. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how many chairs they have down in this section. However, there is a, an element of good news. A8 Magnum? They have got rid of their brain scar. Brain scar completely gone. They're now back up to maximum consciousness, moving, manipulation. Pretty much everything's perfect. They just uh, they have a bit of a bruise in their leg that'll be gone shortly, and they will be good to go. Turns out that Luciferium stuff is actually pretty good. Uh, for who, who else has terrible consciousness or moving? Uh, was it this one? I want to say Murdoch. Yeah, Murdoch's frail, so that hasn't gone away, but that should go away at some point in the future. Of course, they've got a whole bunch of other injuries as well. We shall worry about all of that, though, after they get to the next village. In the meantime, I am flooring everywhere in concrete. What happened? Oh, Salamander is just back from, uh... Ah, they're back from the mining trip, so they're a little bit, uh, frazzled. I'm flooring everywhere in marble as best I can to cut down on the amount of dirt that gets tracked around the base. Due to just some testing I did recently. Anyway, let's m skip this forward a bit. It's daytime, and the A-team is sitting right on top of this village. There's nothing there we want, and if we check everything here... Yeah, everyone's pretty much back up to full strength except for Murdoch and Baracus. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? What can you do? So Murdoch uh, has been given a, a good charge rifle at 40% and Baracus has our normal charge rifle. They've been given our worst weaponry. Everyone else is armed with our best. Worst case scenario, we'll just use them as fodder. Oop, we'll use them as fodder in this assault. 
All right, let's see what this has in store. What's the time? Eight in the morning. Perfect. That means it's going to be nice and bright out, which is what we want. Let's just hope there's no rain. Okay, let's just jump straight in here. Uh, yeah, they've broken down completely. I wonder why. Oh, yeah, that's because we... we I have no idea how we even got happy with us considering how many of their villages we've been exterminated. There we got mostly bows. Ooh, a lot of bows. Uh, only if... Then I can't really tell for the spears, but yeah. Let's uh, maybe set up around the corner somewhere, shall we? The same simple plan as before. We've got all of them down there. GMC fires a few shots. And then the moment they're finished shooting, and what is the autosave doing? The moment they're finished shooting, they will run back up here. And immediately get back into cover. Yeah, we should have everyone following us. Perfect, perfect. Uh, maybe have GMC come in at a little bit of an angle. I don't want them getting shot by our own people. Yeah, now this should be a pretty brutal slaughter if we do it right. I think we can call that quite a success. A uh, few injuries, minor ones hopefully. And uh, let's see, yeah. Oh wait, they're, they're actually from before the fight. A bruise from a great bro bow. I think... I think that was, yeah, that was quite a, a sufficient slaughter. And a thousand pemmican to go with it. Why, that's just wonderful. Let's go in and see what wonderful treats they have in store for us. And the great thing is they don't even have turrets we have to worry about. It's just a joy in destroying tribal bases. And nothing too crazy going on here. This is a, a small enough sized colony, but well, I suppose 25 dining chairs is not that bad. That's a decent haul, a decent haul. And also all the, you know, the pemmican and all that won't go to waste. We've installed a bunch of recreational buildings. We're going to hang around here for, well for the full 24 hours, or how many of you got left? 22 hours. We're going to hang around here for the full 22 hours, and when we do, we should be able to leave with a decent amount of cash in our pockets. I might see if there's any components as well we can mine in the surrounding area. When it comes to strip mining out these villages, don't forget there's always things like there's some uranium over here, there's, uh, oh, there's components over here. Components are quite lightweight. Uranium, a little bit heavier, unfortunately. You can also strip any bodies of the live ones and take their gear. Pemmican is going to be really helpful, and at the end you can also strip out all the dining chairs for that extra little bit of cash. We should be able to make a decent amount, while at the same time, have a look out for wildlife. There's plenty of pack animals here, so, well, I don't want the mare because they can get potentially pregnant to slow down your caravan and all that, so we've got a bunch of male stallions that we should hopefully be able to recruit into this team. Uh, I think, though, yeah, we have plenty of animals already, but this year you can take even more junk around with you, and worst case scenario, you can sell off the animals if you can't afford to feed them anymore. Right now, I think we're okay on the feed front, though we'll find out once we start moving again in 21 hours. Yeah, I think that was quite a successful little fight. Once that place is destroyed, or once we've finished there, we'll travel down to here, we'll have to bypass the pirate base for now, and hopefully find a doomsday either here or here, and then we can come back and polish that one off. I think by then, everyone will be healed up and we, we'll be right back where we started. Oh, and over here... The B team are about to have a, a taste of their first, well, their second pirate base. Once we get down here to Tevish, that should hopefully be shortly as well. These pirate bases are falling slowly but surely. Looks like GMC Van has gone a, on a bit of a psychotic rage. They're now in a murderous rage and they're going to try and kill uh, Airwolf. So the GMC Van from the A team is trying to kill the helicopter from Airwolf. That's okay. That's the thing that's happening now. Uh, our best social is Magnum, so when it comes to arresting people, use your person with the best social, just if you don't know that already. We are going to turn this entire room into a prisoner room, that is right, and Magnum here is going to go and arrest them. And uh, their arrest chance is 100%. I believe if you arrest them and then just let them go immediately before you can get them to the cell, it used to break all of this, though I'm not sure anymore. I think it's been patched so that if I do release them, they just immediately go back into having a murderous rage. What is it? Yep, still in a murderer's rage, so you do actually have to uh, arrest them and take them all the way to a prison cell. It's unfortunate, and they're going to get a debuff for it, but... Well... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too fast, buddy. Eh. Uh, you know what? We'll have someone face block it. Oh, there we go. You almost made it. You got to the door, and then you got picked up by Magnum. Good job, Magnum. Hey, just uh, one of those fun things. Are they taking a nap? How's their murderous rage looking? They're just feeling depressed. Well, that's probably because they got arrested. The catharsis will wear off. Hey, we'll uh, immediately release them. Anyway, uh, we don't really need them in here. That's a release, please. Uh, you can go do that. Prioritize releasing. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Everyone's back to normal. Everyone's happy. And you pick up your gun. Can't have you wandering around without it. For our next assault, the B team will be taking on this pirate base. We'll, uh, we'll move them in there now. It's, what, 7 in the morning? Yep, should be about 8 by the time they get in there. This other uh, tribal base is just about done. Who's a major brick with shield? 
Why are you unhappy? My proposal was rejected by Barracuda. Ooh. Ouch. Sorry, bro. Sorry. That hurts. Anyway, um, we'll, uh, we'll let this run a little bit until we're ready to start our next fight. Oh, one thing I started doing a long time ago was I put in this little area down here. You'll notice it's a little indoor area that's 20 degrees. This is bait. It's bait for infestations. This place is just a perfect infestation spawning area because it's nice and warm. It's above the minus 17 degree mark. So even during winter, there's good chances of them spawning in here. Uh, it just, and all of the rest of the areas are much warmer. So like, for example, they can't spawn in here because I've got, well, they should never spawn in here again because of what we've been doing. Could potentially happen though. But by keeping this down here, we make sure if there is a spawn attempt, it's very, 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 very likely to end up in here. It's just one of those things that will save you. It's called a, a honeypot for in infestations. Oh, and now our new map is just generating. Okay, so let's see what we're facing with these pirates. What's the bet there's a mortar? Is there a mortar? Maybe not. Where are we? Attack has begun. Oh. And one of my tribe's people has, yeah, grand, grand aunt of member sugar. Well, at least it's not an outrider. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what we've got going on. Uh, that looks fairly, I don't want to say, I don't want to jinx myself, but that doesn't look like it's horribly bad. Well, they don't have a mortar. They do have enough weaponry that I'm uncomfortable. They do have a couple of sniper rifles in their group, and I'd rather not face those in an open field. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a kill zone here. We're going to place our people in here somewhere, and then what we're going to do is block off that area with some stone chunks so that they can't use it for cover, demolish this walling section, and then draw them in here. And when they come in here, this will be our kill box area. Oh, that's the plan. Let's bring everyone over here and start working on it and hope it works out the way, that I, the way I plan. This feels a bit like we're doing a construction job when we come in here. Uh, some of our animals have gotten sick. God knows where it is and God knows which caravan it is. <laughs> uh, considering it's four alpacas, I think it might be our triple trade caravan with three people in it. Uh, is it? Could be these? Nope. Health. Yes, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Just... I, I was just curious. That was all. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this on and hopefully we can get this kill box ready to go. Our caravan has expired. The one that was had just wiped out the tribal village. We're taking everything we can with us, including an awful lot of chairs, of course. And we even have enough leftover room because I think we hired a couple of extra stallions, maybe. I don't know. You know what? We've got enough space or carry capacity in this caravan that we're going to start taking the wooden tables with us as well. The tables, okay, they're 10 kilos. They weigh twice as much as the chairs, but they're, they're pretty valuable. So now we're, we're, we're nicking all the tables and chairs. This here is an artist's rendition of a llama carrying a whole bunch of chairs on its back. I asked for it. You provided it. Thank you so much. I never knew, knew how much I needed this in my life. I'll, li I'll link it down below in the description if you too want a picture of a llama carrying a bunch of chairs. I love RimWorld. Thanks again for that picture, Annoy, 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 Annoy. That was, uh, yeah. Uh, this kill box area is slowly starting to come together. I still need to haul over a bunch of rocks, though. Uh, we're going to use the same pattern as before where we... Uh, another stolen idea that we're going to put in the uh, eight pawns in the middle there and we should be able to do some decent amount of damage. Kill box complete. Let's hope it works. Uh, unfortunately, some of the equipment I'm giving my people is wearing out. What the? Oh, it's gone down to 74. I haven't changed their restrictions, have I? They're still on conscription when they should be on military. Oops. Yeah. Let's maybe change everyone over. Uh, yeah, and people can put their pants and shirts back on. All right, let's kick this party off. Now, all we have to do is get their attention. I don't even try and shoot any of them anymore. What? Wow, that's a terrible shot, Van Damme. Oh, wait, no, we did get their attention. Uh, the reason I'm using Van Damme, high movement speed. If we check under the number section here, they have the highest movement speed of anyone in this group, or what well, they did. Why did it drop down to 4.74? Oh, I gave them a minigun. That would probably explain it. I should have given it to Jimmy. Ah, never mind. I'll sort that out later. For now, though, I'll have them come down here and then run in. This will not be the same amount of slaughter as the last time. Oh, and as well as that, I better find out who has the... Before this kicks off, I better find out who has the doomsday and make sure they don't get to shoot someone in the back with it. Ah, there we go. You have a doomsday. That's perfect. In fact, there's two doomsdays on the front line. Three doomsdays on the front line. I think we've got enough doomsday rockets to really make a mess. Yeah, that's right. Run back around the corner. Jesus. Okay, so once they realize that there's no cover, they turn around. 
This kill box is working out extremely well. That person's trying to hide behind a bush. Ah. Okay, you know what? That's uh, that's enough faffing about. Let's throw a doomsday in there and make sure that this party gets completely fixed. You, come on, pick that up. Equip doomsday rocket launcher. And now, we're going to fire that sucker right there. Right there? You know what? There is perfect. There should be enough people inside that blast radius when it hits. Oh, ho, ho. I don't know what was there, but whatever it was, it exploded too. There seemed to be a double explosion. Um, yeah, we might want to go and put out those fires because I do want to get that beer and maybe some of those weapons. And you, you're still alive. I would prefer if you were dead. Um, okay, but I think that's the only... Oh no, there's three of them still alive. All right, I'm going to get the squad together. We're going to go in and put out the fires and see if we can't kill the last uh, escapees. This base is actually looking pretty tasty. I mean, okay, they've got way too many beds and not enough chairs. So, like, we've got 26 beds, but only... What, how many dining chairs so far? 13? But... It's a nice little thing we can try here. This gun turret is hooked up to this wood fire generator. Now we took out this one with our mini gunners. Our mini gunners are just so handy. If, if you ever need to take out turrets around one of these pirate bases, just bring in some mini gunners. They are so versatile and so useful. They're not really great against armor, but against long range stuff like turrets and soft targets, they're pretty handy. Also, they definitely slow things down. Uh, we are going to already flicking the switch. So you're going to flick the switch on that. Hopefully you can flick it before the turret shoots you. Can you? Can you? Oh, boom. We shall claim that. I'll take it. Uh, then we get to check out the last of what's in here. Let's see what else this place has in store. Unfortunately, the fermenting barrels... <sighs> yeah, we got to wait two days. It, we, it, there's two days left on those. I don't think we can wait that long. I might actually just settle this place to get the beer because this crowd don't have beer. I never sent them out with beer, which was an oversight on my part. Maybe we could go on to... Let's look at the world map. Hmm. Well, there is a tribal village down here that is neutral, but it's... We could go down and trade with them and maybe grab some beer off them. Yeah, actually, you know what? We won't stick around for the two days. We'll stick with the 12 hours. We'll strip out what we can, put in as much recreational buildings to keep them happy. We'll get the beer at the next place. This whole place maxed out on 15 dining chairs, so not really the best, unfortunately. On the bright side, though, let's see, we'll grab all of those and deconstruct them. We did get a bunch of randomly decent resources like jade, uh, some smoke leaf, steel, uh, a whole bunch of hops, things that we can sell off. We'll get a bunch of this stuff and we'll sell it off when the time comes. I've also set up some mining commands for some of the edge pieces over here. I think there's some jade uh, components, uh, uranium, all sorts of random stuff scattered about the map. Yeah, we'll hopefully get some resources out of it. Wildlife-wise, there's even a couple of alpacas we can try and tame, which reminds me. I've also set us to uh, harvest all the berries in the surrounding area also. They won't have enough time. They do not have... In 15 hours, they will never get it all done. But we'll, we'll let them off. Uh, B5 and B8, why are you so unhappy? Oh, yeah, that's another annoyance of coming in here. They, they have moderate expectations. They should have about a little bit more, I thought. I should thought they should be about 16. Maybe this caravan is too wealthy. Oh, never mind. Uh, seeing three corpses, unsightly environment, insulted, major pain, slept in the cold. This is probably because Barney and Jubilee got into a bit of trouble with each other. Uh, yeah, they, it seems they didn't like each other, and they got into a punch-up before the fight even started. So if you'll check here on Barney... It's bruises to, from human fists and teeth because Barney Rubble and Jubilee got in trouble. Like, uh, I can't believe they started a social fight before the fight kicked off, but no, it was fine. There was no major injuries and no one bit another person's leg off, which is always a bonus in RimWorld. Anyway, we'll, we'll skip it forward some more and see what else is going to happen in this, uh, in this world. I think that's another pirate base down. This crowd down here, it's a bit slow today because it's wintertime and everyone's moving much slower. So they're surviving on hay for the animals. We've got pemmican survival meals. They're almost at a survival meals. Once they're finished down here, it's going to get it's going to get dicier for them. Anyway, we'll we'll skip it forward some more and see what else is happening. Uh, well, see what else Randy decides to throw our way today. You know, sometimes it's nice when they just gift you stuff. Fourteen man hunting mega slots, two resurrector mech serums, and we know exactly how to deal with a bunch of man hunting mega slots. We queue up the Benny Hill theme song and we get Chan. Where's Chan? Okay, yeah, Chan here. Are you sick at the moment? There's a bunch of flu going around. So, but no, they are perfectly fine. So I think the moment they wake up in the morning, we're going to dose them with some go juice and get them into a drop pod to go get that stuff. We might want to give them some food this time around. Uh, yeah, just because last time around it took them a while to get back. Yeah, first thing in the morning, we'll do that. Also, first thing in the morning, we're going to go wipe out a tribal village down here. Uh, this group over here is almost going to that community plateau where we can hopefully pick up a doomsday. We get a doomsday there. Great. We can go back and wipe out the pirate. If we don't, I'm going to play it safe and go over to Steville and get a doomsday there if I can. 
I don't get a doomsday in either of those places, well, then I guess we're just going to have to wing it and see what we can manage with what we've got. Uh, uh, which reminds me, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. It is time to attack this tribal. We've already traded with them, so attack time. Alright, attack begins. Uh, let's jump to location. This should be a fairly straightforward assault. Usual... Oh, there's a lot of trees. I prefer to not give them nearly so much cover. Hmm. Not really much choice about that, considering the map we've got in front of us. It's too much trees everywhere. I'm thinking... Hmm. Here actually looks probably the sparsest. We put up our kill box back here, draw them in, killed a lot of them. I'm going to try and preemptively strip out some of their cover before we start. In fact, we may just take out a few of the trees as well, just because it makes things so much simpler. Same story, different base. Jimmy here takes a few shots, uh, then we have them run back here. Oh, Dr. Watson, please get back into formation. Oh, I'm doing this the wrong way. I want to get all the minigunners on the front line and get all the charge rifles in the back row. Uh, just the reason being, if something does get up close enough to uh, attack the front line, what I want it to be is that uh, if something gets up close enough to attack the front line, I like the charge rifles in the background. They have a better sh chance of shooting the people attacking the minigunners without actually hurting the minigunners because they're close enough that they can shoot through them. Whereas if the minigunners are in the back row, if they start shooting people who get up to here and start me meleeing my front line people, the miniguns have enforced splash radius and there's a chance they might start shooting my own people in the back. Or, I could be wrong on that, maybe at this range even miniguns can't do uh, the enforced uh, shooting in the back thing. But let's find out and see how this goes. I think this should be a pretty decent slaughter if all the things go to plan. Well, yep, the first one in is always the first one dead. Jesus. Ooh, maybe I should have kept removing those. No, I think we removed enough that, yeah, they're just, there's going to be if enough of them streaming forward, they should break. Come on, that one's getting too close. Someone shoot that. Come on. Seriously? How is that person still there? Oh, yeah, you finally got them. Uh, they broke, and now they'll charge forward and get absolutely slaughtered. Tribals, tribals, tribals. Let's see how much pemmican you have donated to our coffers. A thousand pemmican. Thank you kindly. How many of you actually survived? Uh, two? Oh, two of them. Hey, we'll strip them off. Um, we, we don't take any prisoners. It's just not worth it. We can't. We've nowhere to hold them. Let's see what kind of tasty goodies they've got in store for us. Checking the clock. I am very much out of time. I'm going to have to compile this very quickly to get this out the door. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to be late for work. Let's see. Uh, we got 15 dining chairs. Okay, not exactly our best haul to date, but it'll do. Uh, Bedroom-wise, okay, we'll sort all of that out later. But I think we did okay today. We did okay. I'm really... I really just want to make sure that pirate base goes. How many pirate bases do we have left on this map? We have various... Why is it various? You know what, we can just manually count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 pirate bases. Okay, and we're very close. We can, once we get rid of that base and get down there, and once we get down there, well, hopefully the winter ends. It's, winter is making travel distances much longer. For example, this here is just going to this section. Where's it down here? And it's taking, what, four days? Yeah, so once winter is over, we should be able to get through these an awful lot faster. Anyway, I, we're still alive. We've almost, we've wiped out most of the pirates. Uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck. Mm -hmm.